the What in the world? Gus, Gus, did you see downstairs? Did some redecorating. As you can see, these are uh, beer I like over there. Hop Valley, Elysian Dayglo, Bodhi Zaffa, a Bale Breaker. You know, I'm actually just kind of trying to think of anything more interesting to talk about than Disney Sorcerer's Arena. Well, first of all, I cannot seem to escape the advertising for this game. I'm not sure anyone can. Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, other games, Play Store, like pretty much any app that I open, I will see an advertisement for this game. So Disney Sorcerer's Arena is a turn-based RPG where you have different Disney characters that you kind of collect. And I guess the point of the game is to get through all these different stages so that you can collect more characters or shards and equipment for them and all that kind of stuff. You can do PVP in a way you can do events, which are basically just like extra stages. I mean, pretty much all the combat and all the gameplay is exactly the same. This is how you know it's a good game, okay? There's an auto, an auto combat or auto play feature, and they introduce it within the first like two or three battles. And basically what this does is it plays your characters and uses their skills for you, so you don't have to. <laughs> so what that pretty much means is, as long as the stage you're on is beatable, you can use this function to just automatically play for you. Why would you want to make a game that you don't actually play and you're just watching? I don't know, people seem to like it. It's Disney characters, I guess. Especially in the very beginning of this game, you pretty much just turn on this autoplay feature and there you go. You just watch your people do whatever they do. Just as an example, I'm gonna show you some gameplay and all I did was turn on the autoplay feature and press next stage. So I'm just gonna play that in the background. In the meantime, I'm gonna talk about a good RPG. I'm gonna talk about Final Fantasy X. So in Final Fantasy X, you have this giant board and that's how you get your character's stats and skills. And the cool thing is you can build any character to be anything you want. So they have certain characters that they intended the characters to be combat, and they have characters that are more designed to be mages. But if you're creative and you wanna just go against the grain, you can build your character to do whatever you want. And that's really cool, I think. Like you get to a really difficult enemy, and depending on how you played the game before that, you can approach the problem in different ways. Or you could replay the whole game and it'd be a totally different experience. There's just, like, you have the creativity, you have the power to decide how you want to solve these problems. That is what a turn-based RPG is about. It's about strategy, you know, having creativity to solve these problems. That's what makes it fun. So by the way, if you've played any game like Star Wars, Galaxy of Heroes, Marvel Strike Force, Raid Shadow Legends, I think there's a Looney Tunes turn-based RPG, they are all exactly the same. I don't know if I need to say much more than that. I don't know why. Well, I know why people decided to create the game. It's for money, because people give them their money. But there's zero passion behind this game. This is just a corporation throwing a game clone out there to get money. I mean, Disney owns Marvel, Disney owns Star Wars, they already have games like this. I talk about Final Fantasy, maybe if they had this thing where Final Fantasy characters and Disney characters were together and it was like, you know, a cool game, like a... Cr oh wait, that already exists, that's called Kingdom Hearts. Oh yeah, they do cool stuff, they make good games. What, like, what, what is this? This is just a clone. I don't know, how's that gameplay going, by the way? Do you see any strategy going on there? Um, you're, you're just watching. You, that's it. You watch your characters do this stuff. But not only do they have the auto play feature where you just watch, then when you get far enough in the game, they just have an auto complete. Like you, you don't even see your characters do anything. And that's mainly what happens after you hit level 20. You have to slowly, slowly get more and more 
equipment to get your character stronger and level up and more experience. So you basically just use your energy by pressing a button. Hey, say yes, complete this level for me so many number of times. And then you're done. You log on, use your energy, log off. Speaking of energy, I haven't talked about this yet. So you have energy, a limited number of tries on these events and PvP. Everything's limited in this game, everything. You can only play as much as the game lets you. And that's intentional. That's so you keep coming back. You have to keep coming back throughout the day. They give you tons of notifications on your phone. Come back, come back. You have more energy. You have more tries, blah, blah, blah. And then you do a little bit and then you have to stop. So please, this game is not good. It is a net negative to the Play Store and everything. Don't, don't give this game money, okay? You're voting with your dollar. It's just a cash grab. And by the way, if this is like a kid's game, you have a type of gambling, which is you pay money to buy these chests to hopefully get the character you want. They have advertisements for $70, $80 packages every time you go to the home screen. It is like an egregious amount of advertising for these stupid packages. I mean, I guess if you really need that Kronk package, you just cannot live without it. I guess go for it, but you're not gonna get anything out of it within the game because then you just go back to auto playing. I'm sorry, if you enjoy this game, more power to you, but let me tell you, there are so many better games made by smaller companies with much more passion. Just so that I'm not completely negative this whole video, here's three games that if you like this game, I think you might like these better and it would be better if you threw your money at them instead. Okay, so the first one is a game called Board Kings. This game you basically just keep rolling the dice you use up all your dice, it doesn't take very long, then you have to wait, and then you can roll your dice again. You build a big, you know, kind of game board, you can play with your friends. I like it. And, you know, there's a lot of like humorous things in it, and they obviously put a lot of work behind it. I like this game. Second one is called uh, Shop Titans. I played this game for a while. There's definitely a lot more strategy. You kind of build your own shop, and then you hire like workers to go out. It's a turn-based RPG. Again, I think a lot more passion and creativity went into this game. The last one is just Raid Shadow Legends because it's almost exactly the same game, except I think better. I haven't played it in a while, like I said, but you'll probably enjoy it. Well, that's about all I have to say about this game and this video. I hope I don't sound preachy. I don't like to be preached to. I don't like to preach people or tell them what to do. Like I said, if you enjoy this game, you know, go play it, have fun doesn't take anything away from my life. Uh, uh, these are just my thoughts. Oh, one other thing I actually forgot to mention about this being a kid's game. There's a global chat and they kind of encourage you to join clubs and stuff and be part of a community, which can be dangerous if you're a kid in a game. You know, you never know what people are gonna say. But anyway, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you in the next video.